This is what I get for trying to do things off screen. I'm trying to round up a whole bunch of money to level my smithing ability and get some extra perks. And I found Meridia's beacon in a box. Hooray! And now that we have it... A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. Uh -huh. A darkness that you will destroy. Okay. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreef. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Okie dokie. Sounds good. And we've started the Break of Dawn questline. We'll do that eventually, but this is actually the same day that I ended the last recording. So I'm not going to press on, but I'll just tack this onto the front of the video and then start the next one in a couple days. Or, well, day after tomorrow. Anyway, see you then. Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Skyrim with Sully and Graves. Me. Now. Let's press on into this building. All right, now we got to get our stuff back. Remember way back when we started this little venture? Why you shut the door on me? Oh, by the way, I left the door wide open. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Goody goody. Learn anything useful? Where is it? Oh, uh, right. The Thalmor actually don't know anything about the dragons. Well, they don't really know anything about anything, but that's beside the point. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Why'd you send me in if you're not gonna believe me anyway? How's about you go? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? Probably some... Uh... Eldritch legend. Oh yeah, but they also were looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? Yeah. He's alive? I guess. I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Why's that? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Yeah. Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed oh, he'd be the one to ask then. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Seems he'd be less inclined to take on the Thalmor and more concerned about finding him. Or at least finding his work up to this point. Oh yeah, they seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. And I know that because I glanced at a book that I really didn't care to read. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well connected. It's where you'd go? A good starting point. And you never thought to oh, check there. And when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him I where doubt he was that. on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Sure. Uh. Ah, whatever. Where's my stuff? Is it in this? Ah, beautiful. There's all my gear. Lovely. Boink. Now, how much is that? Round about 150 pounds, I think. Shit. Wait, did I get any weapons, though? Oh, yeah. Had to steal a woodcutter's axe because I needed a woodcutter's axe and I couldn't find one. Ha! <laughs> anyway, also got this thingamajiggy and this. How lovely. Don't worry, they're not overpowered. The vampire sword is only the same as my blade sword, actually. And they're both powered up. And this one has an enchantment of frost, but it's weak as hell. So I'm not overpowered. I just have a little bit of an edge, so I can deal with trolls being in my way. Now, first off, 
Ooh. Can I? No. Okay. Just gotta check. Always gotta check. All right. What is it? The heck was that? Darko, what did you run over? Hi. Hello, goodbye. Ben. Here we go. Now we could track down the cornered rat. Or we can just, you know, not do that. And go this way instead. Where is this? Aha! Catalyst Farm. We can go there and work our way around the mountain to get to the statue of Meridia. So I'll meet you there. All right, now let's be on our way, but first off, my horse. Now, everybody realize this is my horse, right? Right? Okay. I'm always worried about that because this is just a random horse that I jumped on. And a lot of times when you jump on a random horse, all the guards are like, Horse thief! Instead of talking to you, we must kill you! Like, what the hell, man? Seriously. Whoa. Make our way easily down this side of the mountain. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Make our way across the meadow here. Is this a meadow? I don't even know. What the? Whoa, the grass! It erupted from the ground! Ready to take our souls! I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Scoozy, scoozy. Out of the way! Spitfire, spit roasting, whatever the heck that spitter was. Okay, there's a bridge there. Are we on the right track? Hang on. Get a closer look. We are not. There's a path behind us that leads up the mountain. Whoops. Oh boy. Easy. All right. It's too bad it is an oblivion and we can't just vertical our way straight up the cliff wall. Not when it's 90 and 100 degrees turns like that. Oh, also, I got a fox following me around. You might notice him every now and then. He's cute. Little snow fox. Here we go. This looks better. This looks more like it. Yeah, it turns up there, I think. No more stops. Yes. Don't care about your mortal plights. Even though taking care of those is pretty much my whole business. But whatever. Look at my temple lying in ruins. Hello. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Maybe you have to try harder. Just saying. What we got here? Air. Elemental Fury. Cool. Let's go ahead and nab that. Boink. Now. I don't think we can actually use it in this hand. Nope, we can't. Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, hold up. Put that over there. Put this over here. Ah, dang it. Hang on, come on, come on. Oh, bam! Wow! That is awesome! Lovely. I must... Keep this the set up then. Be my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Okay. Doink. Ma -ma 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 -ma. 
ascending to the heavens. It is time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness oh skittering within. The a skittering darkness, huh? Files my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Well, that's no good. Worst it. He uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You All right. will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Sounds good. Tell me more about this artifact, though. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker. For it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. Awesome! You will enter my shrine, uh -huh. destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Okie dokie. Sounds like a plan. I'll do it. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Oh, come on, sis. Don't be Go like that. Down. The artifact must be reclaimed, and Malkarin destroyed. Right. Malkarin has forced the door shut, but this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. So you can open the first door? I will send down a ray of light. Oh, perfect. Guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Okie dokie. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, this isn't a good thing. Uh, we're alive. I mean, of course we're alive. We never die. Hey, Darko, you put on the helmet I gave you, and the gloves, and the boots, but not the primary outfit. Not sure why, but well done anyway. Now we don't have to look at your face. All right, we boing. Perfect. Now let's see what we got in Kilkreath Temple. All right. There are so many desecrated corpses and desiccated corpses. There is a difference. In this place, they all have a lot of gold on them. So that'll take ages if I do that in a playthrough. So I'm gonna just raid every corpse in this place off screen. Just to save time and have us do actual progress. Wait, let's see here. Easy. How is that an adept block? It was in the starting position. Random piece of Crap. All right, what do we got? Ancient Nord sword and a chest. Perfect. This is actually what I need. Doink. And I'll show you why later. It only comes in handy at the end of this quest and you have to do it just right. Now let's see what we got in here. Perfect. A little ding-a-ding. -ding. Boing. Ha! Ah. Nice. Now mind you, don't step in the line of fire, cause... Or do, actually. Doesn't do much damage. Ah, I just had a th Oop! I just had a thought. I can use this as a technique to level up restoration, which, as odd as it may seem, is actually incredibly difficult to level. Don't worry, I'm not gonna max it out or anything. No way I can do that. What I can do, though, 
is just give us a better edge to be more where we should be. But for now, I'm going to have to leave this episode here, and we will continue down into the depths of Kilkreath Temple in the next video. For now, thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Skyrim with me, Zillian Graves, and Darko back there. And I'll catch you all next time. Later.